Welcome back to Not So Grand Garage. Today I'm out in the fuel shed and we are going to test our prototype transfer pump. I've got it all set up. As you can see, this has not been ran at all yet. I do not know how it's going to do. I don't know if it's going to leak anywhere or anything like that. So uh, this is the first of our prototype pumps that uh, will hopefully be for sale soon on NotSoGrandGarage.com, assuming everything goes smoothly. Uh, this here is an import pump, but the ones that will be listed for sale will be 100% U.S. made. No nonsense. No cheap stuff. So, I'm going to get this all set up, and then we're going to pull some oil, I believe, from this tote right here, which is mostly 15W40. And, uh, as you can tell, it is pretty cool. Lower we go. I'd say it's 40-ish degrees, give or take. The oil might be a little colder than that. It's been pretty cold this week, except for today. The weather's nice, so that's why we're out here doing this. Anyways, I'm going to get set up. We're going to run a timed 5-gallon test and uh, see how it performs. <laughs> empty five gallon bucket all that's left is a little uh, leftover from the last time we ran it but uh yeah all i'm going to do is uncoil this this is three quarter inch suction hose and uh, if it works well i've never used this before but if it works well i'll uh, put a link to it in the description of the video but i'm gonna dump the hose right in the top of the tote and we're gonna run it into this bucket all i am going to use is a half inch DeWalt drill, battery powered, nothing fancy. And uh, we'll see how it performs. This should uh, hopefully be able to pull fairly quick, be able to run it off a half inch drill. You can run these on 3 8 drills as well, because I have uh, cut the drives down. The chuck will barely fit from a 3 8 drill on this. I would suggest using a half inch drill, but anyways, I'm going to get it set up and get you on a tripod and uh, we'll run it real quick and see how long it takes. I'll set a uh, stopwatch up on my phone and uh, yeah, if it takes really long, I'll speed it up on the video, but uh, yeah, let's see how it does. Forty-nine seconds with some starting problems so let's take a close look at this thing as you can see that's where I was going to install grease cirques but uh, I decided not to these pumps will seep a little bit of oil around this shaft it's just nature of the beast but uh, I'm not seeing any leaks around any of the threads any of the fittings and if uh, this hose here curled up inside the tote so it uh, stopped pulling but uh, I had to reposition the hose mid-run as you might have saw me wiggling the pump around but uh, we filled this five gallon bucket up in 49 seconds with having to do that uh, I would venture to say it would probably be closer to 40 seconds maybe uh, maybe a little less if I didn't have to do that. So if there was a suction wand or something like that on this pump, uh, it would have moved faster for sure. But 
So what's that telling us? We got uh, what pretty close to probably eight-ish gallons a minute, something like that, uh, which is pretty good out of these smaller pumps. So, yeah. So we're gonna go on and try this test again, just for giggles. I uh, zip tied a piece of tubing to our suction hose so it'll keep it submerged in oil. I'm gonna go on and dump this bucket here back in this tote and uh, we'll run it back and see how it does. We've got our bucket emptied back out and I'm about to uh, get this all set up. I'll uh, slide our suction hose down. That should keep us submerged in oil. And uh, I'll get you set up and we'll uh, time it, see how it does. And here we go. Forty seconds. Not bad, not bad. I'm gonna go on and do a little torture test on this pump to see if we've got any leaks spring up or anything. I'm gonna run it until uh, until I feel like stopping. Overall, I'm pretty happy with the results. There's a little bit of oil right here, which is coming out of that hole I had drilled for the Zerk. Uh, as you can see, it does seep up around that shaft a little bit. So that's something you'll need to pay attention to. But uh, no leaks in the housing, no leaks on the, uh, on the fittings or anything like that. So uh, yeah, overall, I think the pump design is gonna work really well. I do, when I, uh, when I edit the video, I'm going to double check the stopwatch versus when I actually start the pump to when I stop the pump and I'll put the actual run time to fill this five gallon bucket up uh, in there at that point. But uh, I'm thinking we're moving probably eight-ish gallons a minute. And uh, this is our small pump. This is a small block pump. And uh, yeah, like I said, I'm gonna hope to get these pumps out uh, in the hundred dollar range and you'll be able to run it with a drill you can direct drive this off of a motor which my old big block pump was set up as a direct drive off of a motor and uh, yeah it would pump a 275 gallon tote down fairly quick so these little pumps are great I think they will work out really well for people who is who are wanting a portable solution that they can run off of something simple like a battery powered drill, uh, have a couple batteries handy, be able to pick up 50 to 100 gallons at a time, and uh, yeah, be able to move oil around really easy uh, without having to drag out a uh, extension, extension cords and a 110 volt pump, so on and so forth. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna wrap this up here. Uh, Hopefully, the IRS gets off their rear ends and updates their database so we can start selling here soon. The website is www.notsograndgarage.com. Uh, as I said, we are now a WVO Designs dealer, so a lot of their lineup is already on the website. I will have these pumps up on the website here soon, and uh, we'll go from there. I've got some other ideas for products that I think you guys will like, and I think it'll help you out in the long run, make this whole process easier. And uh, that is the goal. Uh, I'm not in this to make a bunch of money. I just want to get more people uh, doing this sort of thing. We can learn from each other and uh, we can uh, be a little bit more self-sufficient if uh, that makes sense. But uh, yeah, if you wanna support the channel, there is a PayPal account uh, set up. The link to that is in the video description. 
Uh, we've got super thanks enabled as well, so you can go that route. If you would, hit that like button. It really helps us out. If you haven't already, please subscribe. We appreciate you watching. Just wanted to touch on this. Uh, the drill that I was running that pump with is a DCD 708. It's only rated at 1650 RPM. So we were getting that kind of flow rate out of that low of RPM. And I'm pretty sure that 1650 is under no load. And as you heard, that drill slowed down a good bit once that pump started moving. But uh, yeah.